G'day guys, welcome to 5 Minute Friday. What are we doing today? Well, we're using Snapseed to edit this photo into this photo. Let's get into it. So if you're new here, everything I'm talking about today is in the description down below. I do two videos each and every week all about mobile phone and small sensor photography. That's mobile phones, uh, GoPros, that sort of thing. So let's get into this. So if you're not familiar with Snapseed, it's a free product. It's made by Google, it's owned by Google, and it's a really comprehensive editing program for mobile photography. You can only use it on mobile devices, that is tablets and phones. That's it. Can't use it on a desktop. There are a few different editing programs around. No, that's not right. There's bloody heaps of editing programs around, and most of them are free. Um, some of them you pay a subscription for and so forth, but Snapseed is pretty much my go-to when it comes to mobile photography and editing things on the go. When it comes to astrophotography, it can be a bit tricky to get this sort of photo out of this sort of photo. Well, that's what we're going to cover off today is how to do that. You can do it with presets, and I'll link up the top here how to do it with presets, but all the presets that you have and all the ones that I give you, even the ones that are for free, or even the ones that you pay for with astrophotography, you still need to tweak them a little bit. So the night sky changes depending on where you are on Earth and the haze that's in the air, depending on the light pollution, the temperature of the air, all those things have a factor on how it's edited. So even after you apply a preset, you still may need to adjust the brightness, the temperature, and especially the contrast. We'll go through Snapseed here, we'll have a look at the edit and the options that you've got on this photo. So when you first open up Snapseed, you're going to have three options. You've got tools and you've got looks. We'll go into the looks first, and you, if you just a touch of a button, you can change how all of these looks will affect the whole photo. You can use these as a starting point, and when you use a QR code with like a preset, it's basically a starting point for your edit. So we'll have a look through these, and you know, these aren't too bad. You can touch and hold on the screen there, and it will show you what the edit looks like, before and after you actually do something. Right, we'll go into the tools now and we're going to edit this photo wholly and solely with the tools. The main thing that we're looking to do here is around that galactic core, what that gaseous orangey cloud is in the center of the photo here. That sort of thing is what we want to keep an eye on as we go through this edit. So we'll go into tools and we'll go up to tune image. It's got those little bars there. We'll go into the brightness first We'll increase the brightness and we'll increase the contrast. The contrast is what makes that galactic core really pop. So that's quite important. We'll go into the ambience and the shadows. We'll increase both of those a little bit. If you touch and hold, touch and take your finger off the screen, it'll show you before and after what you've just done. So now we'll go into the details and the details is all about noise and the, and the sharpness of the photo. If we increase the structure, which is basically noise in uh, Snapseed, we wanna keep that reasonably low just increase it a little bit and bring the sharpness up. Not too much though. It doesn't bring in too much noise, but it does make it a little bit too uh, artifact. Well, it makes too many artifacts come into the image. So we'll hit the tick on there. And now what we're going to do is go into curves. If you haven't used the curve tool in Snapseed, it's probably the most powerful tool in Snapseed. You've got a few presets there with, uh, with the curves. We're not going to use any of those though. We're going to go into the channel and go into the red, because the red, if you look throughout galactic core, that's where it is. On the histogram now, we're going to put a couple of dots here. One into the shadows, and we're going to increase the reds in the shadows, and one onto the highlights there. We're gonna decrease the highlights a little bit and increase the shadows, and that will bring a bit more red into that galactic core. That's quite good there, I like that. We might bring that a little bit higher up this side, and the end point as well. Now that looks really good, but it's affected the whole image. You can see there it's affected everything. There's the before and after. But what we want to do is get rid of, maybe get rid of some of that um, um, red in the rest of the photo. So we go up to view edits, go down to the curves, which is what we've just done here, and we're going to mask out what we've done. So we'll go down the uh, bottom left-hand corner, hit that invert, and it will give you that red uh, overlay. So we'll decrease the curve to 25%, so it's still there, but only 25% of it. And we'll get rid of everything except for the galactic core. Keep going around there. 
I tend to use that sort of emotion so that there's no sharp edges on the edit after I do that. All right, that's done. Hit the arrow back and that looks better. If you hit the before and after, that looks heaps better. Heaps better. We'll go into tools one more time. We're going to go into the white balance and we'll increase the white balance so that I like it a little bit warmer because it's that little bit redder at the moment and the tint will add a bit more magenta into the photo. Now I'll tell you what, that looks pretty good. I quite like that. If you're wondering on what that is down the bottom uh, left hand corner, that's actually a shooting star I would say. Um, we'll go into the white balance, we're going to go into that invert again and we're going to just get rid of some of that from the rest of the photo. Just down the bottom there. I think it's a little bit too warm down the bottom. So we'll get rid of that temperature down the bottom of the photo, that magenta and the higher temperature, the warmer temperature. Just like that. I think that looks pretty good. Hit the arrow back up the top there. Now I think that's done. I quite like that. That's a good edit, I think. Zoom in a bit, have a look at these bigger stars around the place. Yeah, I think that's done. What do you guys think? You save that, save a copy, so you've still got the original and you're saving a copy, so then you've got two of the files. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Let me know down the bottom. If you want to, I'll do another edit um, with Lightroom on mobile devices. You can get that free as well. You just miss out on some of the features. But if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next week.